What's up everybody, it's me. It's actually a few days after the race because, you know, I haven't been feeling too good after it. But, um, sorry for the noise, I can't control that. Um, but this is the show after the race. This is actually, uh, Wednesday, or no, Tuesday after the race. And this will probably be uploaded tomorrow or something, I don't know. But, um, yeah, this is Tuesday after the race, and, um, I'm just here to show you the uh, big dents and scratches and stuff that's wrong with the car. So right away, this is actually dented up. This is the same, just missing, missing paint from Kilroy. You know, he scared everyone off. And then the big crash was right up here twice. Um, this was probably the bumper was probably from hitting the wall and back here all the way up here is probably from when I hit the car I don't know but this ain't supposed to be bent like that but you know if it wasn't for that bumper I want to you know still be in that race probably um like I said here dent in the driver's door uh you probably saw that in the video too where he smashes me here but, again, something saved me here, and from uh, from Ford, what they did was they put this in the door for, I guess, those reasons. Um, chains uh, still there, you know. Everything in here, I think, is still okay. Um, we actually had to pull something off here, so this is actually dented in more than what it used to be. Alright, let's take, let's look under the bad part of the car. That there was always bent, so don't worry about that. Look at me crooks. Normally we're Converse's, but... Normally we're Converse's, but, you know, this is a totally different story. Um, plus I just woke up because I'm tired. Um, and I think I just took a picture, so I don't know what's going to happen there. Alright, immediately, you can see this is the worst part of the car. This right here is dented in. This is when I hit the car. Um, I think he was going like 30, 40 miles an hour and I hit him at like, my dad probably said about 60 or 70. But I think it was about 55, around that number. Um, what, hit, what happened was it hit the battery, the battery hit the fuse box, the fuse box blew up some sort of fuse. Or it blew up the um, uh, fuel pump fuse and my friend Robert was sitting under the hood trying to figure it out and we finally started it up and we finally um, yeah we went out um, fan shroud is broken um, the uh, overflow bottle thing is broken um, Radiator's not busted, which is very, very surprising. And this fell apart during the race. So I don't know what was in here. I don't know what came out. But there's nothing in there now. I have no idea what that is. Look at my pajamas. I wore my pajamas. Um, a lot more dirty, which, you know, I don't care. Let's see. I don't think there's any. Um, what's it called in here? Oh yeah, there is. Okay, we're good. We're, we're, we're not gonna die. Um, we blew a tire out. Um, yeah, you would definitely know if we blew a tire out because you know, the tire would be this color, not the other. My dad said he bought a new tire, or not a, not a new tire. I'm I'm buying that, but he bought a Fran Shroud, a overflow bottle, a new radiator, and a um, new front bumper, which all we needed was the uh, Fan Shroud and the new front bumper, but we can rebend this one and reuse it, but he said no, so, you know, and um, I think he's, what I'm going to do is, is put a bar in here. So this doesn't happen again, which a lot of people up there do it, so 
you know, I, one makes me not be able to do it. Um, there's been nothing in here for years, probably. Um, but yeah, um, okay, yeah, the, we led the race for the first, I think, 25 or so laps, and the idiot behind me, he was in a blue and yellow car, and, um, he knew I was trouble, and so he was, um, so, basically, we only have three flags, red, um, red, green, and checkered, but on red, you're supposed to completely stop, no questions asked, and you saw me completely stop. This idiot drives right, bu right by me and keeps going. I just sit there and everybody else is still going, and I, and I just said no, so I kept going, and I ended up in like, I think third or second, I don't know. But if that wouldn't have happened, I would have still been in the lead, and I would have never had that car crash. And um, if you saw in the video, he actually did everything he could to wreck me into the wall, and he almost wrecked himself into the wall. Um, and then when the wreck happened and I was parked up on the... Um, uh, turns of uh, one and two, um, uh, he just got right next to me one lap, and his tire flew off, and he went into the infield, and he never got on the track, so, um, I, I guess karma does hurt, and, um, then we got the car fixed, and then we went back out there, uh, I finished seven... I finished seventh out of um, 30 cars. I don't know how many I actually finished, but should have been in first. But you know, I don't care. There's always next time, and you know, oh well. But um, I think this was the one race where I actually drove the cars, um, like a proper person. I never hit the brakes unless there was a car in front of me. I always hit the gas, even in the turns. I was easily doing 80 miles an hour on the straights even though this doesn't work I know from last races uh, especially the one with my dad I think that was the only time this actually worked this gauge was going 70 miles an hour so uh, probably as fast as I was going I was probably doing either 75 or 80 or possibly 90 or 100 but I, I have a feeling it's just 70 or 80 um, but you know, um, you can see the steering wheel was bent from right there. That's where the GoPro mounts right there now. I have that one and then I have another one that goes right here. You can see the holes where it clamps onto this. And you can see me sometimes push this button up here. That is for the, um, uh, now I'm going to forget about it. That is for the, uh, alternator to kick in and then the battery voltage will go up and all that um but yeah you saw me during the race i was trying to get this down and it would never go down and i guess i was hitting the brakes huh i thought the transmission was gone at first and then my dad easily just put it down when i pulled in the infield and i was like what and then i watched the video and i was like wait what what but, um, yeah, that scared me here when I saw that car hit me. I just looked here, and then I was like, oh, God, man, he really, you know, got me there. Oh, and then there was another part where the seatbelt actually fell off. The seatbelt was buckled up. The seatbelt is probably rusted on the inside, so, you know. Um, so what happened was, I was racing, first place. I was racing first place. Let's just pretend this is buckled because I don't want to buckle it. First place, and then this happened. <laughs> now what you want to happen during a race. And that's when the GoPro camera actually went down and it was facing the floorboard. But you can see me when we went red. I was messing with it, you know, just sort of, you know, fixing it and everything. But yeah, that scared the crap out of me when it broke off. And then I was practically racing like this. You know, practically no protection. If I was in the crash, I would have, you know, fell out, hit the steering wheel. There is no telling what would happen. 
But, um, yeah, the after the race, though, I was, like, really sore. I didn't want to go to work in the morning. Oh, yeah, and I had to go to work in the morning, so, you know. Yeah. Went to work, and I told him, you know, I'm not going to be doing a real good job because I'm real sore, so don't expect me to, you know, be, like, on my very best. And I was like, I'm going, so just do what you can do, and then, yeah. And I did basically everything I'm supposed to do, but it, it was just really slow, so, yeah. And then, um, yeah, I think that's all we got to say. Um, but yeah, um, the car will survive. All we're going to do is just put a chain on the hood of the car, or on the uh, front of the car, and pull the, um, uh, that uh, radiator holder thing, I don't know what it's properly called, but we'll put, we'll yank that up and, you know, fix that, and, um, yeah, the radiator's still good, so we don't need that, we'll just have a backup radiator, and all that, and you can see all the dirt in here, too, it's just, yeah, you know, oh, it's actually mud, because it's rained, but my seat ain't wet for some reason, okay, yeah um if you want to see more of this car and more racing videos i suggest you subscribe and see racing videos and all that in the future and leave me a comment below if you want to actually see me in the grandstands filming race cars like super late models pure ponies and all that and i will um do that but I just want y'all to know that I could do that if y'all, you know, want me to. And I see that temperature gauge is climbing by itself when the car is not even running. Let's see what happens when I do this. Oh, you want to go down, mister? Okay. Um... Oh, GPS. Alright, I will see you in the next video.